sportsman cars now on the racetrack. They are the 250 cc air cooled engines. We call them the sportsmen, and here's the starting lineup. Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania's Paul Moore, the 39 on the pole, and flanking Paul in the front row, the 15, Sheena Schaefer. Starting third will be the six of Kelby Stauffer, and starting fourth, the four of Brad Kemp. The 19 of Wesley Fosnacht, and the number 70, Matt Abers, make up row three. Row number four, starting seventh, the 17 of Jeff Hughes, and starting eighth, the 72 of Brett Hallbecker. Shoemakersville, PA's Brett Wanner, car 54. Where are you? He's ninth. That's where he's at. And starting 10th, the 82, Donna Guy. Starting 11th is the 1 of Dwayne Mathias. And starting 12th, the 7P of Kenny Miller. The 97, Rick Fisher. And the number 88, Joel Talley, make up row 7. Starting 15th, the 26 of Corey Schmuck. And starting 16th, the 8S of Sarah Schreiner. The 25, Jenna Kepley, will start 17th. And going 18th, the 14H, Michael Heiser. Jared Davis behind the wheel of the 7R tonight will start 19th and starting 20th, the 22 of Brian Becker. 7C, Jason Swavely starting way back in 21st and the 10Z, Tim Ziegler rolls off 22nd. Dave Kemp will start 23rd in the 9 car. 23 cars are ready to go. Lined up 2 by 2 and yeah, we timed that pretty well, Mike. They are ready at the white line, rolling into the throttle. Green flag in the air. We're underway with the 25-lap Sportsman main event. Everybody jockeying for position early, trying to get as many cars as they can at the drop of the green. Saw a big move there on the opening lap by the 72, Brett Habaker, the, seven, the red car. 72 troubles the 7C Jason Swavely is slow. He never got up to the pace, Barry. He might have won the 270 feature, but it looks like he's out there just riding around hoping to gain points in this one. Yeah, we saw him have mechanical issues in the heat race as well. Oh, he's going to stop. And that'll bring out the yellow. 22 car heading pit side as well. That's Brian Becker making his first start of the year. That's a tough break for Swavely. The whole field took off, and we had talked about it uh, under the commercial break. That it'd be fun to watch Swavely come through the field, but that's not going to happen tonight as that car never really took off for him. And like I said, he's the point leader. So he definitely wanted to stay on the speedway and try to gain as many points as possible, but it doesn't look like that was in the cards for him in this one tonight. Really rare DNF coming up, or it looks as that way anyhow for, for Jason Swavely. Yeah, he's going to leave... Uh, the Speedway and head back to his trailer with two laps complete. 39 Paul Moore out of Elizabethtown is the race leader. The number six, Kelby Stauffer from Narvon, Pennsylvania. The Epic Signs number six. Currently in second position. 15 of Sheena Schaefer. Started second, now running in third. And we talked about Brett Habaker, the 72. He is now up to fourth, started in the eighth spot and made a, a couple of really big moves, impressive moves here in the opening laps. Paul Becker could be one to watch because Kenny Miller's still back mid-pack. Now, I know we're only two laps in there, but Paul Becker's getting to the front in a hurry. This could be the night that he breaks through in the sportsman class here and grabs a TV win. Yeah, he's been coming awfully close over the past month or so. A couple of mechanical issues sidelining him once he was going for the lead, passing Kenny Miller, and caught one of the infield tires. And, and wreck the front end on that number 72. So, as you mentioned, tonight could be the night. Habaker just went by Sheena Schaefer to take over third position. Something looks like it happened to 15 on the start. She's losing power at the exit of the corners, and it, it looks like the car finally gave up on her now. Yeah, Sheena limping down the front straightaway and back into turn one. 72, Brett Habaker now running second with four laps complete. Has his sights set on the race leader, Paul Moore. Moore was fast in the heat races tonight, Barry, so he might be a little bit of a challenge for Hallbecker, who seems to be cutting through this field like the old hot knife through butter analogy. <laughs> and they're coming up on some slower traffic, catching the back of the field here. Very quickly, here comes the 72. And Habaker leads. Yellow out with six laps complete. Park stopped in turn one, excuse me, Mike. That might be the winning move, Barry. It depends if it counts or not, but it was real close. Been a tough night for Jared Davis as well. That's Jared driving the 7R, making his first start in that car. 
Jared doing double duty here tonight. And he was another driver that was really fast in the heat race. He just didn't quite pan out. Yeah, he led his qualifying heat, but I think mechanical issues sidelined him in that event as well. Paul Becker unofficially has completed his charge from eight to the race lead, six laps in. We're gonna take a look at the race lead, the battle for the race lead, that is. Boy, Brett really throwing that car through the corners, but it is sticking so well for him. I think there, Barry, he saw his opportunity yeah. and he knew he needed to go for it. And, and the car just responded. Yeah, you're right. He cracked the whip and the car was there for him. And that lap was scored with the 72 in front. So that's how they'll line up for the restart here with six laps on the scoreboard. It's hard to believe he restarted on that last restart four. You know, yeah. It only took him four laps. So about a car a lap. So the 72, Brett Habaker in front as we get set for the restart. Hollinger Sports and Turf. Go to www.hollingers.com. Check out all of the great four wheeler and recreational motorsports machines they have in their stock and some equipment you can actually do some work with, too. Yeah, but the <laughs> recreational stuff's a lot cooler. Oh, uh, absolutely. We just got off that <laughs> 600 Speed Week and. Uh, Hollingers had some stuff on display during the speed week. They were allowing the promoters to use it. Definitely drew a lot of attention, some of that can and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I know it. I think they should donate something to the announce team <laughs> so we can get around it. Really should. Just think of all the remotes we could do, the remote exactly. interviews and things. That It'd make getting the victory lane <laughs> so much more fun. <laughs> yeah, especially down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Set to go now, single file, nose to tail, forming up for the restart. Brett Havaker now the race leader, 39 of Paul Moore in second, and it's the six of Kelby Stauford, third. Good run so far for the number four, Brad Kemp, hanging out there in the top five in front of Matt Abers and Kenny Miller, the 7P, beginning to make his presence felt near the head of the field. We have a really got a good restart shooting away from his pursuers. Paul Moore still fighting with Kelby Stauffer for the runner up position. We'll see Sheena Schaefer just keeps getting slower and slower. And now Sheena going to take the number 15 back to the pit area. Kenny Miller looking to gain the maximum amount of points by trying to get to the front. He's second in points coming into tonight. He is going to work on second place running Paul Moore. Moore slide tied. Miller makes the pass as he had a shot of Paul Becker. As he's just glued to those corners tonight. That car is working beautifully for him. His teammate, Kenny Miller, has now taken over the runner-up spot. There's the 7P of Miller working as he has worked by the 39 of Paul Moore to take over second place. One thing that's favoring Paul Becker is right around the speedway, you're going to see it now as Kenny Miller drives through that black streak on the racetrack. That is right where Paul Becker is putting his right rear tire, which means all the power is going right to that black end part. So it's rubber on rubber. And there you got a great shot of an awesome job by the camera guys to see that. And I mean, that's where Paul Becker runs every week, down around those tires. He has the same setup. So tonight it's going to work, or it sure looks like it's going to work. So far, so good, that's for sure. Lap number 14 in the books now. Lap traffic, we'll see if that slows the race leader at all. He is catching some of the cars near the back of the field. Sarah Schreiner will be the first one. That Brett Habaker able to get by. Corey Schmuck Jr., the number 26 car, going down a lap. The thing for Habaker right now is the fact that I don't even think the lap cars can hold as low of a line as he's running. He is right against the tires, and they're all about a car length or two off the bottom. There is a 
five car pack directly in front of the leader now. They fanned out for him. Oh, but Paul yeah. Becker caught the tires as he tried to drive by him on the inside. Ken Miller's trying to maneuver his way through as well, knowing this is probably his best shot. Yeah, I tell you what, Brett really got by them in a hurry to, to his advantage. Kenny Miller now getting stuck a little bit behind some of those cars. Habaker maintaining just about a straightaway advantage with just six laps remaining now. Great battle still going on for third. Ooh, somebody's in the wall. It's Donna Guy. Yellow flag is out. Wow, look at the front end of that car back. Heavily damaged. Yeah, we're not sure what caused it. Don't know if we'll be able to take a look at a replay on that one or not. Donna, you can see her moving around inside the car, thankfully. Top of the screen. Something had to you know she was all by herself, Mike, yeah. For her to go in that direction. Absolutely. Uphill. Yeah. <laughs> and to the right, yeah. Maybe, maybe front end broke before she hit that guardrail. I don't know. But yeah, hard impact. It's going to bunch them all back up, and I would think that's going to favor all that. Real estate to work with, but that race for third, we we're about to talk about it before that wreck. What a great race between Moore and, and Stauffer. Both drivers looking for a top three finish. They can really use a podium run tonight. Sure that's what they're doing. Certainly would, yeah, help both of them. They've had their share of tough luck so far this season. The 70 of Matt Abrams. Matt sat out for a couple of years. He had done very, very well in sportsman competition several years ago and then uh, started a family. Took some time off and now making his return, the itch return to climb back in the race car. And Abers back in the seat this year and has been very consistent, still looking for that first victory in his comeback season. Right now, the 70 of Matt Abers is in fifth position. And third in the point standings, which kind of, or excuse me, fourth, but has the potential to go third tonight at the point where they're struggling. But that kind of backs up what you said about his consistency there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's been hanging out in the top five, top six, just about all season long. We're good. Everybody in their proper positions, set for the restart. Kenny Miller, let's see if he's going to try to get the jump on Habaker here on the restart. Brett was up to the challenge. This could be another one of those examples where Miller just puts the pressure on and hopes for Habecker to make a mistake. Brett down on the bottom, like you said, glued to the inside at both ends of the speedway. Kenny's going to have to go around him. Miller ran the top, tried a potential crossover at the exit of the corner. It looks like he's going to try the same thing again as he is really pressuring Habecker hard. That battle for third spot resumes as well between the 39 of Paul Moore and the number six, Kelby Stauffer. But we've got to keep the cameras on the race for the win. Three laps to go. Paul Becker got a little bit of space. Yeah, he, that might yeah, be what he needed. Yeah, Miller twitched a little bit over there in turn two. Now Miller's down in the black where Paul Becker is as well. And there's that race for third. Paul Moore pushes up a little bit. Stauffer trying to reel him in. White flag this time to the race leaders. There they are, back into turn one for the final time. Miller might have won last shot, Barry. Not going to get there. Brett Hallbecker driving to the checkered flag over his teammate Ken Miller, and Paul Moore is going to hold on for third. And that one gave us some excitement without any wrecks. Sure did. That good, was a good one. Good racing in that one. There's your race winner for the first time in sportsman competition, Brett Habaker. Victorious over teammate Kenny Miller. Mike Batts will be down to talk to them right after this timeout. Bud Spring Service of Lancaster has a full service facility. Back at Lanco's Clyde Martin Memorial Speedway. Sportsman feature now complete. Let's get a word from the top three finishers. Michael Batts is trackside. Good evening, Paul Moore. This is pretty close to victory lane for you. It's got to feel good. Yeah, it's definitely a start. 
Um, I got a lot of people I got to thank, but my first of all, my wife. It's the pink numbers, I think. She, she put them on this morning. Uh, we had some rough six weeks with a couple flips in there. Uh, cracked the case on the motor. Mark Ludwig uh, worked all night last night putting a motor together. So it's good to be here. Paid off. Congratulations. Great top three finish. We'll make our way over here. It's got to be tough to finish second, but that's the guy you want to finish second to. Uh, how's it feel? No, actually, finishing second to the teammates always feels good. Um, I, he was out there. I was trying to catch him through lap traffic. We got that caution, and uh, I knew he was going to be on the bottom. I tried everything I could around the top, but just couldn't keep the momentum and get around him. Good run, Brett. Were you worried at all when you saw the 7C drop out and then the, the 7R as well? N yes and no. Um, it's a shame for the, the 7C. He's leading the points, and uh, we want him to win the championship this year. So that, that sets him back there. Um, but, I mean, Kurt puts a good move. But just because one fails doesn't mean another one's going to fail. Congratulations, Kenny. Second place finish. And we'll make our way down here to the feature winner. Your first time as a sportsman driver. How's it feel? Feels good. Thank you. I, it looked like your car was just glued to the speedway. How good was it tonight? It works good. It always works good on the bottom. But, uh, and I knew he wasn't going to pass me on the bottom. <laughs> But uh, he's tired. He just ran that 600 race. But uh, I want to say thanks to Kurt and Pete. You know, they, they take care of some of the car. Doug and Karen, they help me throughout the year uh, in the garage. We work on the cars all the time. Say hi to my mom and Tina up there. And Rick's filming for his, the TV station. Went to school with Rick. So I want to thank Chris and everybody else that helps me on the car. So Congratulations, Brett Hallbecker, tonight. And I want to say thanks to the track guys. You know, they don't get thanked a whole lot, but they really do a great job and behind the scenes and not really thanks for them. They deserve it. Barry Angstadt, we got three down and we got two more to go. Had some good ones. Nice clear sky, moonlit sky here tonight. Over the speedway, Brad Habaker. Just likes the looks of everything right now. Brett in victory lane, the 72 car propelling him to his first sportsman victory over Kenny Miller. Paul Moore, the 39, was third. Kelby Stauffer, a good effort, finishing fourth. And Matt Abers, the number 70, rounds out the top five. Our man contracting replay of the race. We're going to show you that pass for the lead turned out to be the pass for the win. Habaker to the inside of race leader Paul Moore. This was on lap number six, actually. See Habaker just squeezing out ahead of Paul Moore, completing lap number six. And there's the flag man. You don't see it, but the yellow appears just as Habaker was scored as the leader. So Brett makes the pass just in time before that caution and earns the man contracting replay of the race. The 125cc micro sprint feature Coming up next, we'll be back. Don't you go anywhere. Back after this.